consecutive game since before Christmas and trying to avoid that same thing here in the Western Conference Finals after dropping game one, but they lead game two 64 to 50, led by as many as 19 in that first half. It's the American Express halftime report. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Rocket Legend, and Charles Barkley, the American Express teammates, simply uh, a comparison between game one and the first half tonight. They've almost eclipsed their assist total of game one in the first half. Same can be said in three point. And they've already more than tripled their fast break points with 10 in the first half after being outscored 18 to three in that department in game one. So, Biggest change you've seen in the Rockets here in game two, Shaq. Uh, ball movement. Only three times that James hold the ball for 15 seconds or more. Three times in the first half. The big change. Ball movement is great. Listen, if everybody touches the ball, you get in rhythm. You get in rhythm, the others will be available when you need them. Kenny know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. You move the ball. These guys can play. We're professional. Yeah, you guys won a lot of games, but you didn't win a lot of games with guys holding the ball. 16, 17, 18, 19 seconds. Right now, they're playing with great energy. Everybody's in rhythm. Everybody's running to their spot and the ball movement. We don't need you to make changes. We just need you to keep everybody involved. Everybody's involved. Ariza, 15, you know, the P.J. Tucker, 12. You know, guys that don't usually do this a lot unless they're involved. You keep guys involved, you have a better chance at beating the Golden State Warriors, yeah. period. Tucker and Ariza combined for nine points in game one. They've got 29 Thank in you. the first half. We know what we're talking two. about up here, Kenny. Ernie, much. That game, that was totally opposite from game one. That's what I mean, like, a common fan would know, man, they didn't move the ball like that in game one. They didn't stand around and watch James dribble the whole time. Man, that was fantastic. That, that team right there, can be competitive or beat the Warriors. They can't beat them. And that's what we talked about, Ernie. You're talking about, are they going to change? We're not talking about major changes. We're talking about subtle changes. Don't run the shot clock down every single time. Get the ball to guys with some time to go on the shot clock. Get them involved. Pass the ball. Very simple stuff. Now, that team right there was fantastic. That wasn't that crap they did Monday night. That was, that was a great Rocket team in the first half. 52% they shoot from the field in the first half. What grabbed your attention? Well, again, we, I'm just echoing what everyone's been saying. They're capable of doing that. But the difference was, in the first two rounds, Capella had been dominating in the pick and roll. But now they decided that the pick and roll, we're going to abandon it, and we're going to dribble penetration, get two feet in the lane, freeze it here. To me, this is what I had said earlier. Get two feet in the lane off the dribble. Do not worry about a pick and roll. Then five people early Look in the, the shot, shot clock. clock though, Ken. Early I in the you. shot clock. So now as we run it, he's open, but now he finds it. Pass, move again, freeze it. Let me get two feet into the paint. Do it as we run the play. You see how they're moving, the play. On, moving in the One. rhythm. Now we got them on yep. skates. We get again the head fake, two feet in the paint. Find a wide open shooter. There's no, now it's 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Yeah, all of that in the first 14 seconds yes. of the clock. And that they didn't do that not one time. Not one time. That, one time that, that, was, that, that, was, that is a different, you that, had to abandon the pick and roll with Capella. He dominated in, the, in a lot of times in the first two series. This is just not his series, that's okay. But you have to win a championship, you have to be adaptable, and that's what they did. So, but the one thing they got to be careful. The one thing they got to be careful of. The Warriors are the best third quarter offense in the NBA. I think I saw a stat. They outscored their opponents by like 10 to one in in the third quarter. So, but the Rockets play like that. This can be a good series. But they can't revert back to that dribble. Like James Harden, it's all right for him to go one on one. But go that one play Kenny showed with 16, 18 seconds to go. Don't wait to 10 seconds, and then you have to hold up a Hail Mary. Well, uh, the Houston Rockets have uh, kind of turned the table statistics-wise from game one to game two. Golden State, which only turned the ball over nine times in game one, has turned it over 11 times for 13 Houston points in the first half. A lot of them were just bad turnovers, Chuck. Well, Ernie, I think the one thing you got to be careful of, uh, this is not a must win for the Warriors. So I'm not going to overreact to the turnovers. They got, well, this is a must win for the Rockets. 
I think the, 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 the words came out a little complacent, but that's understandable considering, listen, we came here to get a split, uh, so I'm not going to overreact to the turnovers. But to me, the key is going to be the third quarter, but that's been the Warriors' calling card all year, the third quarter. Kevin Durant has 18 to lead Golden State. There were four Rockets in double figures in the first half. Ariza's got 15, Tucker with 14, Harden with 14, Gordon with 13. Steph Curry, by the way, 0 for 5 from deep. Welcome to the American Express Halftime Report. Live from the Western Conference Finals in Houston, American Express, the official card of the NBA. 